Hey, hey, welcome to another vlog. I'm going to try to make this as fast as I can, but I wanted to talk for a minute about the latest uh, terror plot foiled in New York City at the Federal Reserve involving this kid from Bangladesh, this 21-year-old kid here, um, going to school, uh, had the feds contact him, posing as terrorist, got him, he was basically a willing idiot, Claims that he wants to carry out jihad, picks the Federal Reserve building, and uh, and tries to detonate a fake bomb. This is about as far as our government is going to get to busting any real terrorist attack, and it's really kind of telling that the only terrorists they can bust are ones that they can entrap, because um, it's the same M.O. over and over again since 9-11, that both the Bush administration and Obama administration have basically foiled a, an attack that uh, that their that their you know their administrations their their FBI and CIA um, are creating um, and it's not even a legitimate attack um, but you know here we have it's and it's be and it's and it comes every once in a while they'll have these cases where they'll parade it out as being some sort of um, some sort of victory against terrorism when there was no threat in the first place. Um, you know, and it's it here we go again with with a, a young kid who we don't even know really the mental capacity of this person. Obviously he went to school. We don't know his whether or not he was coerced into doing this, possibly uh, drugged or um, experimented on. Uh, we do know that our government has have a history in the past of, of experimenting on people psychologically with the mental and human psyche. But, um, you know, um, we're supposed to shit ourselves or thank the United States government for protecting us um, when there was no threat to, in the first place. Um, it was a kid, a willing idiot, who obviously uh, went, was duped into believing that uh, carrying out jihad. I mean, and what really cracks me up is that if you're a legitimate terrorist, wouldn't you know how to build bombs? I mean, seriously, you know. Um, somebody coming to you and saying, I mean, like I said, if you're in the right, right mind, someone coming to you and saying, let's bomb a, the Federal Reserve Building, um, in the name of jihad, um, I would hope you would go, uh, something's wrong here. So it's just, la I mean, I'm laughing because the idea that they're trying to push these events on us as being a legitimate cause for concern of the American public, um, as I'm putting, you know, saying that, hey, we're still at threat, is laughable. And if you have any common sense, Knowledge of, of when this really started with 9-11 and understand that the 9-11 uh, story is full of holes and you look at able danger and you look at, you know, just the, the, the evidence that, that the government's story on 9-11 is not legitimate uh, and not doesn't, it doesn't add up. The more you look at these events, these foiled terrorist plots, as being nothing more than, than scare tactics and propaganda and um, and used as psychological warfare against the American public by way of the mainstream media who now will once again start talking about Al Qaeda and whether or not they're they're, they're you know out to get us and this and that. Um, but I also besides being a psychological piece of psychological warfare against the American public with events like this, um, it's also quite interesting that the Federal Reserve Building is the intended target, um, especially considering that over the past five years, the Federal Reserve has gotten more and more scrutiny. People are yelling, end the Fed. They're waking up to the fact that the Federal Reserve um, is basically a cartel of banking interests who have control over our monetary policy and the economy and are levying uh, inflation tax and devaluing the dollar and and um, looking out for the banking interests rather than the American economy and it's stealing the wealth and so on and so forth. 
But um, since Ron Paul, you know, came out, and it's really increased since Ron Paul, but uh, came out and said, end the Fed, and wrote his book, end the Fed. So over the past five years, the Federal Reserve has gotten more scrutiny. I honestly believe that this target of the Federal Reserve was done on purpose in a way to psychologically mesh the two, you know, that say the base of the people who are uh, speaking out against the Federal Reserve or possible uh, possible terror, you know, possible uh, homegrown terrorists, linking the two. Obviously, we have the Mayak report in 2009, which said anybody who uh, who um, you know has a Ron Paul bumper sticker could possibly uh, be a terrorist, a homegrown terrorist suspect. Um, so I think honestly, this is just another example of the United States government, you know, inserting that that external threat propaganda bullshit to make us um, fearful and, and to once again accept the U.S. Patriot Act, to accept um, uh, the National Defense Authorization Act, which, thank God, you know, the courts overturned the the indefinite detention of U.S. citizen, you know, clause in there. But um, this is just another, you know, you know, thorn in the side of the American citizen to basically say, you need to be aware that there is an external threat. You need to be aware and you need to give up your rights and more and more rights to allow the government to keep you safe. And I think, honestly, that's the goal here. And especially tying the Federal Reserve um, to this really makes anybody who's a, a, you know, a anti-Federal Reserve and anti-opposes the, the, um, the uh, policies of the Federal Reserve and, and, is, you know, and is critical of the Federal Reserve that's um, going to tie the two together, and, and you know, the power suggestion is definitely there. So that's my take on it. Um, the elections, what a couple weeks away. Can't wait till it's over, so, so you know, finally people can stop acting like they understand about politics and arguing over you know Pepsi and Coke, Burger King and McDonald's, and uh, we can once again um, you know watch the American uh, voter go out to the ballot box and a little bit more um, as they vote for, you know, uh, Pinocchio or Pinocchio. So with that being said, take care, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.